It's easy to get in a rut when it comes to dinner time. But what if you could take the same recipes you already know and make them even better? The tips I'll show you in this recipe can make every weeknight dinner better and more delicious. Blanching and shocking vegetables is a useful skill because it makes your veggies look and taste great, but it can also make your food last longer and your meal prep easier. It's really easy to do too. Blanching is really just boiling vegetables until they're partially cooked. Then you shock them by cooling them in ice water to stop the cooking. This process is like freezing the vegetables in time. They keep their fresh flavor, color, and texture. Plus, you can prep them well in advance so you save time later when you need to get dinner ready in a hurry. To show you how it's done, I'm going to make our barbecue chicken chopped salad recipe. It's a great recipe with tons of fresh vegetables and summer flavors. First, I'm going to bring five quarts of water to a boil and add one quarter cup of salt. That may seem like a lot of salt, but most of it will get washed away later. While that's coming to a boil, I'll grill some chicken tenders that I've seasoned with our smoky barbecue rub, about three to four minutes per side until they're cooked through. Oh, look at those great grill marks. Next, I'll get the vegetables ready. I've prepped my vegetables. The smaller the vegetables are cut, the quicker they'll cook. Before I start cooking the vegetables, I'll get everything ready to go. I'll add the steamer to the pot and get my ice bath ready. Make sure that you have plenty of ice because you want the vegetables to cool down quickly. First, I'll add the edamame and the green beans because they'll take the longest to cook. After two minutes, I'll add the zucchini and the corn. And two minutes later, I'll take everything out and put it straight in the ice water. This will stop the cooking process almost immediately, so the vegetables are still crisp, but tender for the salad. To make sure the salad doesn't get soggy, use a salad and berry spinner to remove the extra water. At this point, I could store these in the refrigerator for up to five days, and then add them to a recipe later in the week. For the dressing, I'm going to mix Greek yogurt, buttermilk, chives, a clove of garlic, and salt and pepper. Now let's put it all together. I always reserve a little of the dressing just in case I don't need it all. Toss everything together, taste it, and see if it needs more dressing. So the next time you find yourself with an abundance of spring and summer vegetables, get a few more miles out of them by blanching and shocking them, then see how quickly your dinner can come together.